All right, get your King James Bible and turn to Matthew chapter 2. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries, in John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This is the continuation of the Dreams and Visions series. Uh, the wise men that came to Herod looking for Christ's child, they had a dream warning them not to go back to Herod. And Joseph had a dream that told him, get out of Dodge, get out of Bethlehem, because if you go to Bethlehem, if you stay in Bethlehem, Herod's going to try to kill the child. So with that in mind, let's read Matthew chapter 2. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. Why were they wise men? Because they were seeking Christ. Verse 2, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when you have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Well, right now his pants are on fire, I'm sure. He is in the pit, the flames. Unless, of course, you live, listen to the Jehovah's Witnesses will tell you, oh, God's a loving God. He'd never put people in hell. Uh, that's right. Keep listening to your elders. Don't read the Bible. You know. Do you know the Jehovah's Witnesses used the King James Bible for over 50 years? And then people were reading their Bible and saying, oh, wait a minute the watchtower you guys say this but my bible says that so what did they do they um, rewrote the bible they got the new world order translation i mean i'm sorry it's the new world translation or is it the new world order translation i don't know yeah verse 9 and when they the wise men had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh, and being warned of God in a dream. Ah, oh, yes. And the wise men, and being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Now, this is... The second time Joseph's had a dream from the, an angel of the Lord. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt. And be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Now, Josephus, a Jewish historian who I believe came to Christ, uh, said that Herod was 
of Esau Edom, you know, Esau that married into the Hittite Canaanite tribe. Yeah. Matter of fact, some say that Herod was the one responsible for burning all the genealogical records in the temple uh, just so that they couldn't trace him back, his family back to um, Esau Edom. I don't know. Is that true? I don't know. But it would serve their purpose. So anytime you see something, think about who benefits, who makes the buck. When you do that, a lot of things start to make sense. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a guy that reads the Bible a couple times here and there. Verse 14. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt and was there until the death of Herod that it might be fulfilled, which is spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. So the Lord called Christ out of Egypt. And didn't the Lord call Israel out of Egypt too in the Passover, in the book of Exodus? Verse 16, Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wroth, and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem, and in all the coasts thereof, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently acquired of the wise men. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, Jeremiah, that's, Jeremy is just the Greek rendering of the word Jeremiah. Verse 18. In Ramah was there a voice heard, lamentation and weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, and would not be comforted because they are not. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt. Wow. So, Joseph had an angel give him a dream three times. One time to take Mary as his wife, telling him that Christ was of the Holy Ghost. Another time, get out of Bethlehem, and now to leave Egypt and go back to the land of Judah. Three times. Wow. Wow. Isn't that something? But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeareth in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and go into the land of Israel, for they are dead which sought the young child's life. And he arose, and took the young child and his mother, and came into the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus did reign in Judea in the room of his father Herod, he was afraid to go thither. I guess Archelaus was a son of Herod. Bad news bears. He was afraid to go thither. Notwithstanding being warned of God in a dream, he turned aside into the parts of Galilee. And he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets. He shall be called a Nazarene. Now remember, uh, Samson was a Nazarene. It was like a, a vow. And I've had people tell me, oh, well, you know, being of Nazareth, Nazareth and being of a Nazarene is two different things. Well, read Matthew chapter 2, verse 23. He came and dwelt in the city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets, he shall be called a Nazarene. So if you come from Nazareth, and I guess if you take the vow for the Lord, I guess you're a Nazarene. I guess that's how that works. I don't know. I'm a, not a scholar by any means, but, uh, you know, I've had people try to tell me, oh, it's two different things. It doesn't mean the same thing. 
Well, that's because they're deceivers or they're deceived, and that's their job, to deceive people. And they're usually of the uh, tribe or the tribal faith, which is anything but the New Testament. So, all right. So I guess uh, this is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' precious name. Amen.